Alright guys, we're back with Chino, and I'm going to tell you what the deal is. I'm getting him started with the down, and he's got a little maneuver, and, and, and you're going to see I've got him doing it now. But let me tell you what, it wasn't easy. And he's got the same behavior, and he was kind of doing it earlier when we were doing the recall. It was very subtle. I don't know if you'll be able to go back and see it. But you guys know how Molly bites at your feet. Well, when I went to make him go down, he started biting my feet. Thank God I don't have on flip-flops. Crystal's like curling up her toes. She's having flip-flops. <laughs> um, and I will tell you, before he did that, just prior to doing that, he grabbed the leash and started violently shaking it. So I, I arranged it, good point, so that the leash was so short he couldn't get a hold of it, and he started biting my foot. And he did it two or three times. And I'm just going to tell you, this is something this dog has done before. I'm not saying to myself, oh, my God. I'm saying to myself, this is an observation I'm making, and this is something this dog has done before. And certain dogs do have a predilection for feet. I'm telling you, remember that was that? I don't even know if I still have that old book. It's called Protection Dogs. And there was one picture, and this is probably from the 70s. If I can, I, I might still have it somewhere. And the... Um, it was a picture of like a foot coming through the door, and I'm pretty sure it was this border collie. I'm going to look that book up on Alibris just so I can get it, because I love reading old dog books like that. But it was a foot coming through the door, and then this dog was biting its foot. You know, which I was always found that interesting at that time, but, you know, I realize now there are certain dogs that have a predilection for feet, and this is one of them. Let's just say if we wanted to teach this dog to attack your shoes, it could do it. If I had to venture a guess, I would say that they've played tug of war with this dog. And that's why I say always don't do that, you guys. It encourages aggressive behavior directed at the handler. So I'm going to work on getting him to go down. I had to stand there. I don't know if you guys remember Roly the Bulldog. It was kind of similar to that, where, again, I'm standing there with pressure on the leash, so the dog's head is slightly bent. So it's going to want to give in to the pressure of the leash. But I was telling Crystal, with that bulldog, I stood out here for 20 minutes, and it still wouldn't do it. I finally had to concede with just the dog sitting. And if you guys go and look at Roly, I mean, she ended up being a very impressive worker. Very impressive. I'm very proud of the way that dog turned out. But in the beginning, it was like this one. Every fiber of its being was resisting going down. After 20 minutes, I had to just concede. I did get this one doing it, but... With that one, I had to concede after 20 minutes and just reward it for sitting because that one didn't have any food drive. This one at least has food drive. Chino. Good boy. Good. Heel. So what I'm going to do. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Go. No, but I didn't have any reaction to the dog biting my foot down. He, he might do it again. Be ready, Crystal. Down. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. So I was adding my pager right there when I was doing the pressure. Good boy. But I will tell you, after the dog bit my foot, it kind of went like that. You know, so that makes me think also, it's done that, and maybe they swatted it with a paper or something. Because there was no reason for it to have that reaction. It, it went, uh, 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 uh. Then we could have had the slow mo. Unfortunately, Crystal had to go get the scoop and pick up dog poop. Because they're all sneaking around pooping. So we didn't catch that on camera. I said, I'll, work, I'll be over here. And then when she came back, I said, Crystal, you missed it. Good boy. So I want to reward him. Good. Good. And I, I say this all the time, though, but the most dangerous kind of dog is the handler aggressive dog. The stranger aggressive dog. You can become the handler and you're safe. The handler aggressive dog, well, you don't have that luxury. Chino, good boy. Keeping my leash very loose. Good. Good boy. Chino. Oh, good boy. Good. I'm going to get my foot on there down. What a wonderful boy. He is my good boy. This is where if you didn't have food, that wouldn't be good. Chino. Not, you know, cranking on him. And, and, you know, the page and everything's very impersonal. 
I'm going to tell you what, if you want to, to have a Tasmanian devil on the end of the leash, get you a pinch collar and start jerking this little dog. He's already looking at me a little sideways. Down. I do want him on that hip, though. Good boy. If I had to guess, I mean, I would say that, you know, I mean, obviously the dog's been admonished down. But remember I told you guys that when... That girl, Linda, in the foster home that he was in, sprayed him with the water bottle. He turned around to eat her ass up. That's when he was sent packing off to Kelly. You know, so you can boo-hoo all you want. The reality is the dog has been adopted multiple times and not been successful. And so you have to either come to terms with something's got to change, and it's got to be the dog. Saving grace with this dog is he does have a lot of food drive. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to go get that cage that's up on the driveway, disassemble it, and uh, use cable ties to tie it across that fence right there so those puppies can't get out. There's going to be a little jailbreak the other day. Mm. All right, let me do it a couple more times. Chino. And you'll see his attitude will just get better and better. But When he bit the foot, because most people don't do the foot on the leash thing like that for the down. They bend and point. Wonderful boy. I took my advantage, though, you guys. When his head went down, I immediately removed any slap from the leash so he had no place to go down. All right, we'll be right back.